Welcome back to WBTV News on Bounce. Now, June is Men's Health Month, and there are many reasons that men should regularly see a doctor. I want to welcome Dr. Lloyd Bridges from Our Health to talk about some of those reasons. First, uh, give us a little bit of background on yourself. My well, name is Dr. Lloyd Bridges. I've been in the Charlotte community for the past 22 years, and I've uh, been working with Our Health, which is a uh, a great uh, company. We enhance employer health plans by offering primary care services, health coaching, wellness programs, medication dispensary, and laboratory services to its clients throughout the city of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. We have five locations conveniently located along the I-45 corridor. Okay. Definitely. All right. You, you say the main reasons men should go to the doctor are for the early detection or treatment of diseases. What kind of diseases are uh, most pop out to you? Yeah, definitely. First of all, I want to say that as men, we must choose to be phenomenal, exceptional, and extraordinary for ourselves, our families, and our communities. Mm -hmm. And we can start this by taking better care of our own individual health. At the core of living a healthier, longer life is a heightened awareness of preventable health problems, early detection through regular office visits, mm -hmm. and treatment of diseases at earlier stages. Some of the most common causes of uh, death in, in men are heart disease, cancer, notably lung, prostate, and colorectal cancer, right. uh, stroke, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and poorly controlled diabetes mellitus. Mm -hmm. Why in the world do you think that uh, men uh, struggle? Because I, I, I think you would say that men struggle more going to the doctor than women, correct? Would I, would I be right in saying that? Most definitely, most definitely. We know that the life expectancy for a man is about 76 years of age less than uh, five years of female counterparts. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of the, one of the main reasons is that men feel as though they're too busy to go to the doctors. Right. Number two, they feel as though they really don't want to know what may be wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Number three, they're uncomfortable with the exam, specifically the prostate exam. Right, okay. Well, are physicals enough to go to the doctor and say, you know, the doctor kind of clears you after, the, are physicals enough to get by? Well, you know, the, the U.S. Health and Human, Re Human Services have reported that most men come in on an average of every five years. Mm. However, what's recommended is for men under 40 to come in every three years, men between the ages of 40 and 50 every two years, and men over the age of 50 should come in annually. Uh, at the age of 50, we start colorectal screening for, for cancer as well as uh, prostate cancer screening. Okay. So, that's so those are the important. recommendations on the procedures that you should, you should have. Those are two of the, the most important Most counts. important. Most All important. All right. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, talk about the doctor, about it. Uh, lifestyle changes. Some people go in and do things without talking to a doctor. How important is that, too, before you do like a different exercise routine or things that they well, you eat differently? You definitely want to go in and, and, and have a physical and make sure from a cardiovascular standpoint you're healthy and fit to pursue the activity that you want to uh, begin to partake in. Uh, but some of the hot topics that men come in with as it relates to concerns are, number one, as we get older, we're always concerned about uh, low testosterone mm -hmm. or erectile dysfunction. Right. We're, we're concerned about mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, and even anger management. Uh, obesity is a concern because of physical inactivity and poor, diet, poor dietary habits. Uh, alcohol and nicotine uh, dependence, as well as in the younger population, still HIV is a concern as well as sexually transmitted diseases. Okay, all right, well, good deal. Uh, doctor, we certainly appreciate you being here. Anything else you want to add before we move on? Uh, you, we've covered a lot of ground. We've covered a lot of ground, short period of time. The most important thing is early, te early detection reduces your risk, and hopefully that will lead to a healthy, longer happier life. Well, all right, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information, log on to WBTV.com. Look in the web extra section right there on the home page. Like I said, well, I'd love to have you come back at another time. I'm sure you got much more information you all can right, let us definitely. know. All right. We're back with more news on Bounce right after this.